quick dive with the V8 Super Utes. They finally had a round. Of course, their first round was at the Bathurst 500 back in February. And uh, I know. what a race that was. A record. We almost actually saying that we almost had a record amount of uh, cars entered. But unfortunately, um, George, good old George, couldn't uh, compete, unfortunately, this weekend. Yeah, look, I think it was really interesting. You know, they would have had a record uh, amount of cars. And, you know, to talk about 23 cars in the super ute uh, category now it is starting to become a real category you know they're going to be capped as well so there aren't too many spots left uh to participate in, in the super utes but look what started out as a category that you know primarily you know like whenever they posted results on social media there weren't very pleasant uh, comments out mm -hmm. there it's actually starting to become a class that a lot of young drivers are starting to consider you know we're going to talk about Jaden um today and the results that he had and you know a great weekend for for south australians but yeah they did miss one of the regular drivers george uh, from the category and look motorsports especially at the you know at the grassroots level at the you know the level where you know still the national categories but everything is done by yourself you know you make a team by yourself and you have to raise sponsors by yourself and if you crash you're gonna pay you know yeah. so it's not what people see on drive to survive or you know formula one teams or you know the big big teams that, that there's no repercussion when drivers make mistakes and so when it comes to sponsorships something fell through and it can happen to anyone and at, at any time and it's a, probably a good reminder um to drivers and and you know to make sure that your sponsors are locked in early make sure that the contract is airtight that mm -hmm. you know the business sponsoring you know can't get out of it but yeah, shame, you know, obviously, you know, it would have been good to see a record, um, a record, you know, amount of, amount of super use, but ne nevertheless, you know, it was a fantastic race. Um, race one was won by Adam Marjorin. Um, Cody came second. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that surname. I'm going to say it, Brzezinski. There we go. There we go. Apologies if we, <laughs> Sorry, uh, if we butchered that uh, for you, but from South Australia, Jaden Wenzek, you know, on debut, you know, only in his second ever round in the Super Utes, never raced there before, no testing there before. He did do a test in Sydney Motorsport Park prior to the round, mm -hmm. but overall, to get a podium, you know, in your second round um, in a field of 22 cars is absolutely brilliant. I mean, oh, he definitely he drove brilliant throughout that particular race. You know, he nailed the start, had good pace. Uh, and you know, if you look at the, the you know the drivers behind him in that race, you know, yeah. and I thought you know, re, you know, Bro Harris, Aaron current Borg. champion, you know, yeah. Aaron Borg and David Cedars as well, Cameron you know, Crick, the, Super Two driver. Exactly, exactly. So you know, I think it, it is a category that is really, really starting to um, open up the eyes to a lot of uh, young and up and coming drivers. Hmm. And also, you know, word on the street as well is that you know there's a lot of teams in Super Two and Super Three that are looking add drivers in this particular category you know for forever in a day has been the toyota 86 yeah. you know always looking at the toyota 86 but now they're starting to look in this particular category as well and their next race is coming up in sydney motorsport park and i think it's going to be brilliant you know to watch them go around that turn one you know oh, in, and uh, they sound sure. great uh, but overall you know from a from a round perspective you know from a, this particular race you know um you know race one you know that had a lot a lot of um you know a lot of great overtakes uh, um as a category you know for for Jaden and, and adrian codrell you know from from south australia you know Jaden race one p3 race two p9 and you know it was a reverse race but you know he was making his way back up the field again but then you know contact with a couple of other drivers oh definitely that's all it takes too yeah Sunday morning, race three, he finished fifth, race four um, in P6, fourth overall for the round, yeah. you know, in his second ever round. It's You've got to be happy with that. That's an amazing achievement. And, you know, that car is, you know, got stickers about, about him all over it. And so if you're a business out there and you're looking to, you know, support a young driver and in a national category, you know, that is part of Motorsport Australia and, and part of the VA calendar, 
I'd put my I'd put my, I'd put my brand on there, you know. Like I think oh, that yeah. car, um, you know, I think there's definitely some opportunities uh, there for good brand visibility. And the other South Australian, Adrian, you know, he missed round one, so it was good to see him yeah, that's back. That's a real shame. So I'm glad he came back. One, yeah, he he came yeah. back. He made the announcement. He did his car reveal. P8 in race one, solid. You know, again, having been out of the driver's seat for so long, uh, P4 in race two, and that was a brilliant race. You know, oh, you go yeah. back and watch the replay. Um, yeah, there were four cars battling for the lead, and it was really, really, really cool. Now, in P in race three, go back, watch the replay. I don't know. The, the man needs to go to church, light a candle. How nobody made contact with him. When he got spun by the other car and he was in the middle of the track, I mean, great awareness from him to move out of the way, but how nobody collected him. That was so lucky. Oh, he should go buy a lot of ticket, I reckon. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that was, um, you know, that was uh, brilliant. So obviously finished P15 after that particular crash. And then in race four, came back for a P9. And overall, um, both drivers from SA um, doing us proud, uh, you know, both, you know, I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Adrian, uh, but I believe Adrian is a privateer, just doing it mm. on his own with his own, uh, his own team. And, you know, Jaden, uh, we see this racing mm. and working with them. But overall, I think, you know, Super Utes are definitely, you know, up and coming. Um, race uh, two saw Aaron Borg win. Um, and then, you know, Cameron Crick actually, oh, sorry, Cameron Crick won race two. Is that race two? Yeah, so Cameron Crick, uh, we got mixed up. Crick won race two and yeah. Borg won race three. There you, go. there you go. There you go. And for race four, we had um, Adam, uh, Aaron Borg won again. But overall, I think Adam Marjorin uh, took out the round. Uh, so it's going to be very, very interesting. Again, teammates. Uh, fighting it out uh, for the title. Both cars look spectacular, you know, with emotion. Yeah. And overall, there's um, a lot of enthusiasm about this category. Like I said, I, I am surprised to be sitting here in 2024 talking so positively mm -hmm. about them uh, because, you know, just a couple of years back, um, yeah, I wasn't too keen. No, well, if you think about it, they started off with the V8 Brutes, which became the V8 Utes, which everyone loved. Yes. And then that unfortunately died away. But then these came back as V6s and they just weren't the same. They were massive. So once they put that V8 engine in, I think, a couple of years ago, it really made a difference. Yes. Uh, people still bag about it. But in my opinion, I think we're on for a, a great category here. Yeah, I, I think I think we are. Um, you know, there's uh, overtaking opportunities. Uh, there's door to door. There's a lot of door to door action happening. Um, you know, with these cars. And you know, I was talking to Jaden um, after race uh, three, which he could have gotten very close to a podium again. But you know, you need to learn how to battle with the with the drivers that you're not used to um, racing up against. But overall, yeah. Um, keen to see how they go in Sydney Motorsport Park. Um, they will be back at the Adelaide uh, 500 this year mm. as well in the streets of Adelaide. It's always a fantastic circuit. Um, oh, full of action always. Absolutely. You know, they sound great. Um, they come out of the corners. You know, they're exciting for the fans. And I think what's really appealing for, the, uh, for them as well is that because they are so big, there's so many opportunities uh, for sponsors to get really, really good brand awareness um, because the, guys, the car's huge. You know, like they're not they're not small. No. So, no, very, very interesting. Very, and I'm very excited because they don't have to wait a long time again. They only have to wait four weeks till the next one. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's fantastic. So, can't wait to see what happens at Sydney Motorsport Park. Looking forward to it.